The best view of the Golden Gate Bridge is definitely Hawk Hill. You can watch hawks trace circles in the sky from rolling hills in the Marin headlands. Hawk Hill offers fascinating wildlife experiences and it provides habitat for the Mission Blue Butterfly. The second best view of the Golden Gate Bridge is the mile-long Baker Beach, which lies at the foot of the rugged serpentine cliffs west of the Golden Gate. Large waves under tow and rip currents make the beach unsafe for swimming, but it provides panoramic views of the Golden Gate Bridge, marine headlands and the land's end. On sunny weekends, be prepared for crowds and parking congestion. The northernmost end of Baker Beach is frequented by clothing optional sunbathers. Another great way to view the Golden Gate Bridge is driving on the bridge. At night, the most jaw-dropping viewpoint is Battery Spencer. Battery Spencer was one of the main protection points for San Francisco Bay. It featured multiple 12 guns that were operated by the military and a few buildings for housing the generators and shells. When you reach the top of the hill, you will see the massive area that has become one of the main bridge viewpoints. This large dirt area has a lot of room for the almost constant flow of tourists that come through the spot. Driving through San Francisco is very exciting. The streets are very steep and hilly. San Francisco is one of the few places in the world where people can ride on National Historic Landmark. The cable cars are the world's last manually operated cable car system. Known as the crookedest street in the world, Lombard Street is one of San Francisco's most popular landmarks. Every year millions of visitors walk or drive down its eight sharp hairpin turns. Surrounded by Russian hill mansions and perfectly manicured landscaping and flowers, it is also one of the city's most scenic streets. The Cliff House is a famous restaurant on Point Lavas Avenue and offers a beautiful view of the ocean beach.
Driving through San Francisco is really a one-of-a-kind experience. I remember we were looking for the house where Mrs. Doubtfire was filmed, but unfortunately didn't find it. Maybe next time. Another fun thing to do when in San Francisco is to take the Sausalito Ferry. It is one of the most popular San Francisco ferries. Sausalito is a perfect day trip from San Francisco. Most of the people who visit Sausalito walk or take the bike over the bridge or they arrive by ferry. You can sit and have a coffee at a cafe on the charming Main Street Bridgeway. Sausalito used to be full of artists and writers because it was beautiful and it was cheap. Now it's just beautiful. We took the ferry that arrives at Pier 41 in Fisherman's Wharf, just around the corner of the famous Pier 39. The Pier 39 is a popular tourist attraction built on a pier in San Francisco. There are street performances, restaurants, shops, and many fun things to do. Probably the most fun thing is to watch the sea lions which are hauled out on docks on Pier 39's marina. Let me tell you though, the smell is no fun. There's a very special odor around there. Another beautiful sight is the San Francisco Ferry Building. It is a terminal for ferries that travel across the San Francisco Bay, a food hall and an office building. It is located on the Embarcadero in San Francisco.
We had a lot of fun in San Francisco and didn't want our trip to come to an end. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on our Instagram.